Hi, it's Carmi Weininger. Welcome to the Science Behind the Saddle series of videos that take you in depth to each component of our modular saddle system. Watch them all to find out how every piece works and can be customized to give you a remarkable and shock absorbing ride. If you'd like to stay informed, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the EQ Saddle Science YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about billets and we're going to talk about girthing. These are some pretty important elements to consider because the function of the billet in combination with your girth is to do two super critical things. One is keep your saddle secure on your horse's back, but the other equally important is to ride your horse in comfort so that your horse is free from the restriction of something that chafes, rubs, or creates a pressure point or discomfort anywhere on the body. So the primary goal in girthing the saddle onto the horse's back is to keep the saddle stable so that the rider has a place to sit that doesn't shift side to side or front to back because it's not held securely into place. We provide you with two front billets and one sliding Y-rigging back billet. The reason we give you this choice of two front billets is because it's very important that you girth your horse in a way that creates a neutral force. By neutral, I mean that the pressure from the billets down to the horse's girth groove or the narrowest part of the horse's body is perpendicular to the ground. By having this wide range of straps, we give you options to match the billets to the horse's girth groove in a way that creates, again, this neutral force. The most common issue that happens with horses is the girth groove is quite far forward and when that happens if you don't have this point billet then you girth with these two billets you see this diagonal angle and the next thing that happens one of two things both bad ones one is the saddle puts pressure against the base of the wither because it's pulled in a forward direction and the other is that your saddle will travel it will move forward to create a neutral up and down pressure. When that happens, your saddle is too far forward and is sitting over your horse's shoulder. So these billets have a different effect on the saddle system. When I pull, and I'll show you in a minute, these two have no effect and the front billet tips the front of the saddle down a little bit. Watch. No effect. No effect. The front tips down. What that demonstrates is that when you use this point billet, you are making the saddle a bit tighter against the wither and the shoulder. There are a number of saddles that only offer you a point billet combination with a rear billet, and all of those saddles are artificially restricting the shoulder on horses who don't need this point billet as part of their security and stabilizing system. If your saddle goes forward, then the point billet can be the only thing that keeps it in place. I know that I just said you'll make the saddle a little tighter against the side of the wither when you use the point billet, but if it's a choice between shooting up the neck and staying where the horse can optimally carry you behind the shoulder, then you need to make that choice and use this billet. All of the billets on our saddles are sewn onto webbing. There's a bit of webbing here at the top of the strap. So once you've determined which of these two front billets works, and combining with this sliding Y rigging that is our back billet, you can very easily take off the extra billet and put it aside. If you're a trainer or ride lots of horses, we are encourage you to leave both front billets on your saddle because it gives you the widest range of options when you're riding different horses. Equally important in holding the saddle on the horse's back is the girth. I'm going to introduce you to our girth. It's available anytime you try our saddle, you can try the girth with it. This breadth gives you better stability for the saddle. It also gives you better pressure or weight distribution. A very important point if you've got a broad girth, once it's on, is to feel underneath the girth at the front and feel underneath at the back. Make sure that this design follows the bottom curve of your horse's underside or belly because quite often there's a diagonal and you'll have a tight range of pressure at just one edge of a girth. Never forget to feel underneath the bottom of your girth. Some other aspects of a girth that are important is a cutaway. So 
This should line up with your horse's elbow so that the point of elbow doesn't encounter the girth. It's very important that whatever backing you've got on the girth be substantial so that the buckles can't ever press through the material and become a source of pain or a source of high pressure for the horse's body. Where to buckle the girth is another very important consideration. The rib cage swells and at the bottom of the rib cage is the wrong place to locate your buckles. If the buckles are on the bottom of a horse's rib cage, then hard metal over bone creates pain. But it's important to get the buckles below the rib shelf. If you're not sure where it is, feel for it, have somebody help you um, learn all about your horse's body. That's how you make your horse the most comfortable. If your girth has elastic, it should be in the center optimally as ours is, or on both sides, never just on one side. A one-sided elastic just helps a rider tighten the girth. It does nothing for a horse who needs to expand the rib cage equally on the left and the right. The inside of the girth, when it's curved to follow the horse's body, should not make any ridges or bulges, and you should inspect your girths regularly to make sure there are no cracks. Ridges, bulges, or cracks, again, are things that could be uncomfortable for the horse. Roller buckles are part of the design that lets you more easily and smoothly tighten the girth and also extends the life of your billets. When you try our saddle, remember that the billets are there to provide an improved function and give you more options to ride different horses. And the girth provides a remarkable, stable, and very comfortable ride for your horse. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll check out the rest of our Science Behind the Saddle series. We welcome you to follow us, subscribe, all the usual ways will find us. And if you'd like to get going with a saddle trial of your own, reach out to us through our website at saddlescience.com. Thank you.